Afghan women are flexing their muscles at the first female-only gym in their country's southern province of Kandahar. It's the latest effort by Mariam Durrani, a fierce campaigner of women's rights, recognised by Michelle Obama in 2012 with the International Women of Courage Award. Durrani says women have welcomed the gym's opening, but men are not so impressed. The reaction of the ladies was very positive because they needed it, but unfortunately what bothered me was the reaction of the men, especially the men who were educated and thought they were intellectuals. These men were the ones who reacted negatively to our club and even insulted me because they thought our club was in opposition to the Sharia. The gym draws about 50 women a day. Customer Fatima Hashimi says stepping into the center to hit the treadmill is an exercise in risk. Undoubtedly, coming here is not without fear and everyone knows that in such a situation, women are more afraid. But if we look at it from another angle, exercise is beneficial to our health and therefore brings happiness. Durrani is always on the lookout for fresh ideas to advocate for women's rights. And when she isn't working out, she runs a radio station for women and has also served on the provincial council. With the troops withdrawal signed between the US and the Taliban after fighting a 19-year bloody war, women are still worried that the Taliban may exert its influence through formal political channels. Under their previous time in power, women and girls were banned from education and could not leave the house without a male relative. Our concern is that if the Taliban return and reunite with the government, what will be the restrictions they will impose? Because given what I've been following on the news, I think the Taliban's mindsets and ideas have not changed much. For now, Durrani is pushing forward with the club, helping Afghan women from housewives to those working outside the home to feel safe and strong in their bodies. Thank <laughs> you.